my dad played guitar, his buddies played guitar, and that's kind of how I was first exposed to, to music and um, wanting to play an instrument. And uh, around 11, I started playing the guitar. In, in 1988, I won a guitar in a raffle. Um, I put my name in a raffle and I won this, uh, this guitar and tickets to go see B.B. King and to meet him backstage and have him sign this guitar. So that was my first introduction to, uh, to blues. I know I found the right tone when I can, when I don't really have to fight it. When it just, when it feels good and it's it's coming out naturally, and you're not really having to work super hard to, to, to get it. You know? And um, sometimes you can work as hard as you want and it still doesn't happen. But once you do get a, a good tone, it's, it uh, it just it makes everything more fluid. It makes it easier to play and notes come out. I mean, um, basically, when I got the, the the bias rack, I I set it on. You know, first thing I did, I'm gonna check out the blues settings. I set it on blues, and I basically I have pretty much I have the stuff. A lot of it's centered in it, and it sounds good. So it wasn't it wasn't difficult at all to dial in a tone with the thing. But I I try to go for for clarity. I like to be able to hear the note that I'm that I'm playing. You know, and I, I don't use a lot of a lot of gain, a lot of distortion. But um, I, I like to hear hear the note and um, hear the hear the depth of the note and hear clarity of the note. You know, there's a little overdrive on there right now, but you still hear the. Once you find a tone that you like, you can save it, and it's preset, and it's always going to sound the same. It sounds the same from from room to room. Um, if I bring it to a in a live situation to a club, it, it it sounds the same. It has the same tone. I don't have to try to fight it to get that that same tone. Whereas uh, some of my other traditional amplifiers, they vary quite a bit from from room to room, setting to setting. Once I have settings saved in here, I can download these settings, presets that I have, into what's called a tone cloud, which is accessible by anybody. Um, I can share the tones with people um, via the tone cloud. Uh, I can access them any anytime I want from pretty much any device. If I ever need to go beyond what's available to me here, um, basically I can go right here to the digital format and I got plethora of amplifiers and different tones or whatever I want to, you know, different cabinets, different simulators, uh, it works out really good. So basically, at the end of the day, folks, it's all about making music, you know. Um, you can tweak and mess around all day long, but uh, I, I like to, to, to just make music with it, and this allows me to do that with ease. It doesn't hinder me, doesn't get in the way. I love it.